missed it. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? One shot here. Uh, Tuesday. Uh, didn't harvest today. Um, Cause I don't have room to actually dry it, so I'm waiting on a drying rack to come tomorrow. Uh, and then I'll be harvesting the radiant tent and doing a video. So hopefully you guys watched the uh, Grow Blue Harvest and you guys liked what you saw. Um, but, you know, I was just sitting around bored today and decided to uh, pull out the genetics, see what I have, see what I should run for next time, and uh, kind of show you guys what I've added to the collection since. Um, it'll kind of help me... You know, if you put in the comments what you guys would like to see grow next, that'd be awesome too. Um, but yeah, I organized here everything, uh, just so we can kind of go over what I have. Um, so, we'll start here. Here we go with the green bean seeds. This is the frog fart that I grew. Um, so the person that was wondering about frog fart, it is in seed form already. You don't need to wait. Uh, it's green bean seeds, it's frog fart. Um, there's his email address, it's Lemon Hoko. So green bead seeds at AOL. So here's the star dog back cross, berry white, and the uh, fire alien OG. Um, so the frog fart is available from him. Uh, and then we have the dog poo, which turned out like crap, um, unfortunately. And then the star dog, this is um, from uh, Top Shelf Genetics from JJ. And I'm excited to run that. These are really rare and pretty expensive um, so I think there's 10 in here so yeah so that, those three um, I definitely won't be running dog poo again um, probably not ever or for a while so um, so here we move on to TR seeds I'm not super familiar with them these were free freebies at the uh, cannabis cup after talking to the guy he hooked us up um, so here Kachuk Cushy times Tom's Hill Hayes and Cerebro Hayes Brain OG crossed with Tom Hills Hayes. Um, so they actually, uh, it's funny, I emailed the guys afterwards because I got home and counted the seed <laughs> and the seeds in the pack. And there's like 15 seeds in each pack. Um, and the guy was laughing when I told him that. So, but yeah, so there's like 30 seeds here. It's funny, in each pack. So I'll have to look up more info on these. I haven't really seen much on these. I'll look up grow journals and see and uh, see how they are. Um, so unfortunately here's the OG Rascal, the Fire OG, which I won't be growing ever again. I'll probably be giving those out to someone. And then this White Fire Alien were freebies because I bought the Fire OG. I think there's five in here. Uh, the regulars, but again, OG Rascal, I don't think I'll be running them. So, um, and then here, we move on to one of my favorite breeders, Cannabiogen. Super resin production plants. Um, so here's Peyote Purple. Should have a shitload of those beans still. I think there's 20 in there now. I had um, 50 beans of Peyote. So I love the strain. Um, but you know, I've handed them out some, to some friends and stuff since. So, yeah. And then here is the Pakistan Chitra Kush. I haven't grown this yet. Maybe I'll maybe I'll grow that. Nice colors, not a big yielder though. And then here we have the sandstorm. This is more of a hash type plant. Oh, there's ten seeds in here. I haven't even opened this one. Uh, so that's Cannabiogen. Here we have a G13 Labs. This is their blue venom, I believe. Yeah, feminized. I like their containers. Pretty cool. So I think there's only three seeds in here. But yeah, G13 Labs. Um, here, I actually got these for winning a contest. So this is Rosetta Stone F2. This is actually the Brothers Grimm Rosetta Stone. This is, this is gold right here. This is an awesome strain. Um, and this person, made an F2 of the original Rosetta Stone. So this is straight Brothers Grimm stock um, that was made into an F2. So these are gonna be dank, um, but I might be holding these for a special occasion. Um, and then we have some Immortal Flower. 
That's our 71 Purple Cross, Cross the King's Cross. This is uh, one of Bog's creations. I believe the Purple Cush is from Bog. So, so that's that. Um, and then I got a couple beans of Holy Girl Kush donated to me um, from a local person. So I got three seeds of those. Uh, I'm not sure who the breeder is this. I don't know if this is reserve provider or not. But uh, this came from a medical garden. Um, here we go. BC Bud Tipo Girl Scout cookies. Yeah. Um, love this strain, but I only have two beans left, so and I can't get more. So I might wait to run this again until I can clone it. But I love these plants, so I have that. Um, here we have some seeds, man seeds. This is uh, White Widow Feminized. Got these for free, or is this regular? No, I'm feminized. Uh, so the White Widow is for free. These, this is a big producer. Uh, just in time, grew this. I believe he grew the seeds man one. Um, White Widow. He loved the smoke, so maybe I'll do that. And then this is what I bought from them to get the freebies. Purple Bud. So I got ten of those. They're just regulars. So uh, I've had these geez, forever. Reserva Pravada Kosher Kush feminized. Six beans, um, so I have that. <laughs> uh, and then we're moving on to TH seeds, or uh, bomb seeds rather, THC bomb. This is supposedly like 28% THC. Um, regulars, I, I think it's a big stretcher though, that's why I didn't run it. Um, but yeah, so I got that, picked that up. Um, I don't know why I bought this, the Emerald Triangle seeds, World Purple Kush. I think I was just dabbed out one day and purchased it from Attitude. <laughs> so, I got that. I think they were doing a freebie or something, a promotion. So, I usually grab the breeder promotions. Um, these, I did not buy these. This is a Cream Caramel Auto from Sweet Seeds. I didn't buy either of these. Green Poison, these were freebies from Attitude. I think birthday promotion or something. So, I think I might donate a couple autos to a friend. Uh, who's going to start growing just so he can kind of see what the deal is um, and kind of get used to feeding and, and temperature and not really have to worry about flipping lights and stuff. And then we have the green poison here, um, you know, sample seeds, whatever. Uh, moving to the left here, we have some Humboldt seeds. We got Chem Dog, Feminized, and Sour Blueberry. This thing is a beast producer. Uh, Justin Time also ran this, I believe, and he loved it. And I wanted a nice straight chem dog, so I picked that up. I think there's five and two. Where's there three in here? Yeah, there's three in here. Um, so that's Humboldt Seed. Moving on, we have Krent Ken's GDP Genetics. This is the original granddaddy. Uh, you can see their packaging design has changed slightly. I've had these for a while. Um, then we have the Candyland that I picked up, and then I got Freebie Ken's Kush. I wish I got Bay 11 instead, but oh well. And then I purchased a three pack of Phantom Cookies as well. So that's the GDP, GDP, Candyland, Kush, Ken's Kush, and Phantom Cookies. Next, let's move on to Can Adventure, who I believe is a thief. Um, so, but oh well. Pakistan Chichra Kush, Cross with Chem Dog, Back Cross Garlic, Dank Strain. The PCK he used from this from the Cannabiogen line was a dank, dank um, plant. And these are the new packaging he released that's been taking forever. Um, this is Tennessee Purple Kush. And this should be Blackberry Train Wreck. Yeah, Blackberry Train Wreck. So I didn't get his cookie wreck because they were sold out. Um, that's what I was kind of looking for and the flaming cookies, but oh well. Um, so moving on, we have uh, Hoarder Lab Seeds. We have the Sour Power, which I'm currently growing, which is gorgeous. It's a cup winner, apparently. Uh, and then we have the Sour Amnesia, which was the freebie. Um, so I think I have five of those. So that was a promotion, breeder promotion. Those are regulars, and then the sour cars feminized. 
Oh, I missed this one. Rare Dyconus. Oh, yeah. This is the Night Terror OG. Looking forward. I had to pick between this or the Moonshine Haze, and I decided on the Night Terror OG. Because um, I believe this is the Blue Dream, and I wanted to run a Blue Dream. And Rare Dyconus is the Dyconus. And this, the Afghan Haze, came from Scott himself over at Rare Dankness. Walked up to the booth and started spitting some seed talk with him. And he goes, here you go. So, I'm really excited to run that. Thank you, dude, for giving me a few freebies. Appreciate it, man. Can't wait to run the Dankness. So, and then moving on to the last... This is kind of my, probably my most popular breeder that I have, <laughs> TGA, so cool. Um, I just have a grip of their gear. Uh, a couple tens, a couple fives, so. Crazy Train, Jack the Ripper. I got some Agent Orange, because they're gonna be only selling at the cups and events. Uh, I got some Quirkle. I got Jack Skellington. I got Chernobyl. I got Cheesequake. I got Plushberry. And Ace of Spades. So, yeah. Definitely until I stock up on TGA. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get any of the the new stuff at the Cannabis Cup, I wish I did, um, but I'll just have to wait till they come out at uh, Attitude, which is soon. Uh, they also have a few different lines coming out um, that, you know, Subcool presents a couple other uh, breeders. Um, so I have, that's all my, like, main stuff. And then along with all that, you know, you, of course, you get the fucking... Jesus. Oh, here's some... Uh, some Humboldt stuff that I got. OG Kush Femme. There's a Blue Dream Femme. Pineapple Skunk from Humboldt. This was a, a breeder promotion. So, yeah. I mean, just. Remember, guys, these are all souvenirs. These are not for germination purposes. <laughs> but. I mean, these are just like all of them are just stacks of freebies. Lots of autos, lots of femmes. Um, you know, kind of lots of like old school strains that aren't really popular that I don't really care of, care for. Um, I have a couple in here, like you know, a nice train wreck that I just have overlooked. Um, so maybe I'll go through these again. But for the most part, I don't care about a lot of these freebie packs. Um, that's why they're sitting in here. And to top it off, I always laugh at this. Nirvana. Guaranteed quality. Fuck you. Nirvana seeds are shit. So, that's it guys. That's my uh, genetic library. I'm always adding to it, unfortunately. It's kind of addiction when you get to this much. Um, so this is why I don't really clone, because I have so much to choose from. Uh, every grow is usually something different. So, you know, if you want to see something special, um, post in the comments and let me know. So a lot of TGA to choose from. Uh, I will be using TGA Super Soil uh, next grow, so if you guys want to see some TGA in the Super Soil, let me know. Uh, if you want to see some other genetics in Super Soil. Fire it up in the comments, guys. I kind of want to see what peyote will do in the Super Soil. But, alright guys, thanks for subscribing. I hit over 1,700 subs the other day. That's fucking crazy. Um, you know, it's not as big as some other channels, but, you know, it, it seems like everyone that watches me, you know, likes the stuff, they're positive on the comments, and, you know, it seems like a good vibe going on. Um, I've had a rough week. Some personal issues came up, dealing with some fucking criminals and shitbag scammers and liars um, so not anyone local but yeah so I'm recovering from that but gotta rise up 
and get over that shit. So, yeah. Let's finish this up. Quick look at everything and gonna do it for now. So, peace out, guys. Thanks for watching.